Have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to revel in causing others harm? Why they seem to thrive on the suffering and pain of their fellow humans? This is a journey into the depths of dark psychology, into the minds of those who stalk and prey on others, not for survival, but for their own twisted satisfaction. Dark psychology is the umbrella term encompassing all behaviors that are criminal and deviant, inflicted upon others. It's an intriguing subject, often associated with serial killers and psychopaths, but it's important to note that the vast majority of human predators are not necessarily murderers or sexual deviants. In fact, it's estimated that approximately 70% of human predators are not involved in such violent acts, while the remaining 30% include those who commit violent crimes where physical contact is premeditated. The theory of dark psychology proposes that within all of us lies a potential reservoir of violent, malicious energy. Every single human being, it suggests, lies somewhere on what is called the dark continuum. Most of us are at the milder end, with fleeting thoughts of violence and predatory fantasies that we never act upon. This is because our dark factor, the measure of our potential for malevolent action, is relatively low. However, for the predators among us, the dark factor is significantly higher, pushing them towards what many define as evil, or what is referred to as the dark singularity. The concept of the dark singularity is influenced by the theories of Carl Jung and Alfred Adler. The latter's philosophy that behavior is purposive plays a significant role with a slight divergence that all behavior is 99.99% .99 purposive. The remaining 0.01%, it is believed, falls within the black hole of the dark singularity. This is the realm of evil that the predator approaches, but never quite reaches. The dark singularity represents the potential within all of us to behave as a predator, devoid of any purpose or reason. This is where dark psychology and the human predator have a highly distorted perceptual filtering mechanism. Their subjective processing colors all their thoughts, emotions, and perceptions with darkness and malice. This journey into the depths of dark psychology reveals a chilling reality. At some point, these human predators act upon their thoughts and feelings, starting down a path of psychopathy. Their subjective processing filter becomes detached from remorse, and they start to believe that their victims deserve their fate. This is the point of no return, as they are drawn towards the dark singularity, unable to escape, much like light cannot escape a black hole. In conclusion, dark psychology and the concept of the dark singularity offer a disturbing yet fascinating insight into the minds of human predators. These theories illuminate the dark corners of human behavior, reminding us that not all monsters lurk in the shadows. Some walk among us, hidden in plain sight.